Okay, welcome to the Heavenly Traveler Workshop. Hi, I'm Pamela Teresa, medium of the raw, and today I am creating my little storybook. I have a friend, and her name is KK, and she wanted to uh, create um, her own journal where she could actually write her own story. So I felt I've been tinkering around with this a little bit, trying to figure out how she could create her own little storybook. And I came up with the idea of using a composition notebook. So we're going to fly by the seat of our pants today. Not quite sure how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to take y'all with me on this incredible journey. Once again, hi, I'm Pamela Teresa. I'm medium in the raw. I am the creator of the Heavenly Traveler journals, which are the spiritual breadcrumb trail journals. Um, here's the Beyond Belief journal that I just finished creating. It's up on my Etsy shop, thehemlytraveler.com. And this is where you can actually journal your spiritual journey, connecting with your loved ones here on the other side. I'm a true born medium. I have direct communication with what some people would call the dead, but I do believe they're very much alive. And I guide people um, that they too can have a connection with their loved ones here on the other side. It is the soul that powers the body. Uh, we are all eternal beings. It's just coming into that awareness that you have that connection. Okay, now there's all that. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the Heavenly Traveler channel. I do have a social network, a spiritual social network, mediumreality.com. All the links will be in the description of this video. Let's get on to it. I am first and foremost going to take these pages out of here because I am going to resize. So... You can just take a piece of scissor, cup, a pair of scissors and cut it out. You can cut this out. I'm going to continue doing this. Watch this. I'll show you. Boom. Not that hard at all. Just boom, boom, boom. All right. There we have it. Now I have removed the pages and we will get on with that in a minute I have decided I wanted to resize this journal just take your ruler you would go five and a half then line it up draw your line And then take your pair of scissors and cut it. Like that. See right there. And then you would just get a pair of scissors and lob that up. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. scissors eight and a half so now we have a little book that is roughly eight and a half by five and a quarter and you can see we have a lot of papers here that we can add to this journal but we'll need to cut them off here right papers An easy way to measure it to make sure it's measured right is to simply stick them into your book. Take a ruler. You don't have to be perfect. Hold it down and then just tear them up like that. Just like that. Hold that down and then tear them up like that. I'm going to be adding other papers too as well. So maybe I want to do every other one so I can create pictures, draw pictures and such as like that. Okay. So 
can do whatever you want to with your journals. We have <clears throat> different pages here. So what I need to do is grab my scissors. I'm just going to cut these off here so they're roughly the same size as my little book. Like I said, I'm trying to avoid using this fancy tools, just getting it down to where, there we are. Now, I have the makings of a wonderful little book. have some um, uh, packing paper so you can take whatever you want to. Now what I want to do is I want to line this the inner. So what I'm going to do is I want to actually fold this in half and I've got a really good glue stick here so I'm going to use this glue stick here and I am simply going to Add a lot of glue here. Whatever floats your boat. For me, this is floating my boat. So I'm going to get that fold in the center there. So now. Right? We've lined the inside which is kind of cool. You have it glued down. Go along and cut the edge off here with your scissors. And there you have it. I have found this pretty butterfly paper, which is what I want to use for the cover of this here little book, my little storybook. So what I want to do is I want to leave about the same amount up top here. Therefore, which is right about three quarters of an inch. So how about we do that? We pull off about to about three quarters of an inch here. All I have to do now is glue this to here, which I'll show you. I'll do that real quick. Once again, going to take my glue and just glue it down. Center this on here. There we go. That's about right. And basically, you want to go around and just use the edge of the book to create your creases there. Just make that really easy. See, we need to cut this off just like go. Boom, leave a little bit on the edge there. Like that, no big deal. And then what we wanna do is take whatever glue that you have. So you could use Elmer's glue. You could use any glue that you wanna use. Glue that down there on the other side. It's a very, very easy little journal. You can take and, and really go to town with these composition notebooks. Be very creative. Create something that suits your fancy. So don't do what I did. Don't line the, the, the book first. Do your cover first because now what I have to do, because I want to, is I need to cover this. Okay, so I actually found this paper. I like it. I think it's really quite pretty. So I'm actually going to use this paper. I'm going to line the inside of this book with this paper. I'm going to just tear this off right here. And I can always trim it a little bit more. Let's see, making sure. Okay. We can always, I'm just trying to show you that you don't need 
a lot of fancy tools to create a journal. All right, so let's see how well I did that. Not too shabby, although I would like to take a little bit more off of here. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna eyeball it, cut this. Let's do it. Let's do this. We're gonna do this with the glue stick because this is a pretty good glue stick. Uh, it's called Scotch Create. I'm very happy with it. And if it starts peeling up a little bit, I can add a little bit more glue, which I shall do. Just get it down. And you can use your ruler to, to press that down. Okay, now we're glued. You can also use your ruler to just coax the paper to where it will fold. All right, see how that is? If you wait a little while for it to dry, um, you won't have that much of an issue. So you can just kind of move the paper this way to kind of coax it into the spine, right? You can do that. I do have a fancy bit of this here. So now what's really neat, see how I have this cutoff piece here and I like how it's torn right there. I can actually add this to be the spine. And uh, then I need to figure out how long it needs to be. So, right to about here. So I'm gonna glue this to here. Right like that. Making it very easy for anybody to create a little journal. Oh, get over here. Take whatever you have. There we have that. Like I said, I like it. Now, I want to add my pages to here so I can create my little book. So look for some paper clips. For me, I have these clips, monster clips. Let's see if we can, we can actually um, keep these pages in here by just wrapping if you have yarn. Okay, do you have yarn or page papers or whatnot like that? So you can just wrap it around several times like that, pretty tight, right? Wrap it around like that to keep your pages in. And then you can actually tie a knot at the top. That could be your bookmarks. Okay, so you wanna double Tie it here. Keep the pages in. You don't want them going anywhere. So here we go. And also too, they would be removable. And how neat is that? But you have some bookmarks right here. So that keeps your pages in. Ha ha. Like I said, you could use yarn, whatever you want to use. And look at this. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to, I could actually, where's my center point? Yeah, I could add this in here, right here, right? And that is really neat. Decorate it to your heart's desire. And now you've created your own book, but also too, you could add little pockets in here. So if you have some scrap paper, you can glue that down and have little pockets, however you want to do it. But I just wanted to very quickly show you how easy it would be, like I said, if you had wrapping paper, uh, any kind of paper, line paper, but just to create your own little storybook, your own little journal, and it's super duper easy peasy fun. All you really need is a ruler, 
pair of scissors, a little bit of glue, extra paper, a little bit of yarn, and that's all you need to do. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you did enjoy this KK. Let me know how it goes. I love you all so very much and have a most fantastic day. I'm Pamela Teresa, Medium in the Raw, and as always, carry on.